G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito. We're standing in front of the second 660 Santa Claus. It's really console. exciting. This one's going to Cairns, um, to Bill's Marine, our North Queensland dealer. He's on Lyon Street in Cairns. So if you're interested in a 660 or any of our other models, make sure to go speak to the team at Bill's Marine and they'll be able to look after you and do a quote up and hopefully build you your dream boat. Okay. Up the front, we've got the 316 laser engraved Benito bow roller. It's absolutely beautiful. This sits in there flush. So that way when you're on top of the deck, you don't kick your toes. It's absolutely beautiful. And the pin pulls out and clips back in. Find it, there we go. <laughs> nice and easy. Down the front, stainless steel clamshell. This is for your uh, drain for your anchor well. So you've got a massive anchor well. We'll show you when we get inside the boat. And that just drains overboard. Next one, overboard drainage for your pass platform, it drains out the side. So you'll notice the 660 is rolling on an alloy trailer. This is a three ton Aussie alloy drive on, drive off skidded trailer. These are great because they help keep the overall towing weight down. Um, the hull weighs 1.3 tons for a 660XT, and your trailer weighs 540 kilos. So you're already at 1.8 tons, give or take. So um, it's crucial to sort of have an aluminium trailer just keep that package weight down. Uh, fully loaded, you can expect to see a two and a half ton boat rolling down the road. So that's including a trailer full of fuel with the motors on. So it just helps keep the overall load down, which is great. And you can tow these with an Isuzu D-Max. Like I tow my, my boat with my Isuzu D-Max. You don't need a Dodge Ram or a Land Cruiser to tow one of our boats, which is nice as well. Okay, just while we're at the bow, I just want to show you the flare. This is what gives the boat its nice dry ride. So this is one of the driest centre console hulls on the market. So the water shoots up and straight out. And you'll notice in the videos, I'll put in a clip of it jumping across some swell at Morton Island. The water, the waves, sorry, and the, and the spray goes 20 feet out the side of the boat. So it makes it, yeah, it's really cool to see. And obviously, yeah, it makes it incredibly dry. Here he comes, mad. <laughs> oh. The deep dead rise here in the bow, so this is 53 degrees at the bow, so this cuts through the water nice and well. And you'll notice you've got no lower strike here. That also helps with the softness of the ride because there's no flat surface area hitting the water. Straight away as the boat falls in, it allows it gives us some time to fall into the waves, making it nice and soft. Alrighty, so just before we go around to the back of the boat, I'll show you the transom setup. Just going to go into the hull's history. So this hull is derived from an American racing boat, um, which gives, it's got a proven race pedigree, and which makes it a great fishing boat ultimately because it's faster, softer, and drier, which allows you to travel further, dis further distances to get to the fish faster. You get more time on the water to catch the fish, and then on the way home, when it blows up, you're able to travel at relatively high speeds in comfort due to the hull's shape. So the hull has a 53 degree dead rise in the bow and 25 degrees at the transom. A super nice flare in the bow. And um, yeah, we'll come around the back and I'll show you the motor well. So at the back, we've got the nice big trim tabs. We've done some testing and we found that the standard size trim tabs just aren't big enough. And this shape and size works best for this hull. Gives you a lot more control if you want to lean the boat over or push the bow down. In the back we've got a 40 mil bung down the bottom which is great because when you're cleaning your boat and if you get any fish scales in there they just flow straight through the back. The motor well is set up for twins as the first center console was or you can have a single. Standard hulls are rated for 300 horsepower, XTs are rated for 450. Up here we've got the flame proof stainless, stainless steel survey rated breathers in the transom so that way any of the fumes straight out of the back of the boat. Okay we'll jump up on inside now. All right so we're up in the front of the 660 now you'll notice how wide the gunnels are. This is done for when you're off water fishing you can lean right into the side of the gunnel or the combing sorry all the way around the boat making it feel nice and safe. Okay up in the bow we've got a large anchor well this is the same well that is in the 560s and the 500s from our other models. 
So this is nice and deep, so you can fit a drum winch in here very easily. Then obviously, like we discussed earlier, the flush recessed bow roller so you don't keep your toes or get your line snagged around it. While we're at the front, this boat is also fitted with an electric motor mount. So 36 foot bolt and encoder will fit on here, making spot locking and top water fishing a breeze. Coming down the boat, we have got a custom cast platform fitted to this one. So we've got three hatches opening to two different compartments. So the bow one, this one runs from here to the bow. This would be great for all your safety gear or just your general storage for the boat. On the top, just before we go into this next compartment, to show you walking around the top deck here. It's nice and easy, tons of space, tons of grip with the non skidded deck. Coming back to the cast platform now, sorry, to go halfway through that. So we got on this one two hatches into this compartment. So this one's an insulated esky compartment. It runs the full width of the boat and um, yeah, it's massive. So plenty of, plenty of, uh, Insulated storage for fish for a couple of days out fishing. These hatches are non skidded uh, with flush fittings. And on the sides of the cast platform, you'll notice we've put the non skid bonito floor down as well. So you, when you're standing here, your feet get under the combings all the way around, and you can lock yourself in if you're casting and fishing. Nice and safe. Down here into our forward storage, under forward kill tank storage. So again, molded lid, recessed. Just going to give you an idea of how deep this area is and how large it is. It actually extends up to about here under the cast platform. So I'm just going to wiggle my way down and in. So still haven't got my feet. Okay, my feet are just now touching the very front. And you can see how much space is in here. Okay, let's jump. In the back of the kill tank, you'll notice there's a 40 mil bung offset to one side. So that way the water or yeah, your water will run down alongside the keel out to the bilge area. So it can be either pumped out or drained out when you get home or when you're out fishing through a bilge pump. Up the front, you'll notice how much deck space we've got. The cast platform here is 1.2 meters, and then you've got another meter or so here. So you've got two meters in front of the console. If you didn't have a cast platform, yeah, between the front console and the front combing, which gives you a massive amount of space for storage, for eskies, or when you're top water fishing up in the front. In front of the console, before we go any further, we have got the access pad hatched to the front. So on the 660s, there is a choice of two consoles. This is choice number two. So this is a new console that we've developed in the last, in the last couple of months. And um, what it is, is two 560 consoles that we joined together and we, and we fiddle with the dash to allow you to flush mount two 12 inch screens or a single 16. Um, it comes standard with the grab rail and the windscreen on this particular console if you decide for this option. The other option, is your large console, uh, has the ability to flush mount twin 16 inch screens and has a standing station on top of you to do a top station or a top step through just to have a look when you're fishing. 